So I'm making this video because I was replacing the brakes on my 2004 Honda Silverwing and I couldn't find any good videos out there to just make sure I didn't unscrew anything I wasn't supposed to. And most of you people, if you're looking at this, are probably familiar with the two nuts you need to remove in order to get the caliper off. And then once you remove those at the base, there's going to be a hex nut that may be covered up with any luck it is because that means water probably didn't get inside and it won't be rusty and once you remove these two nuts before you take off these nuts and actually remove them it's a good idea to loosen this because once you take this caliper off the brake uh, disc uh, it's more flex it's it's uh, moves around more and it's more difficult to loosen this nut up so before you remove these I'd loosen this up and you can take both these nuts off and pull the caliper off and I also think I figured out a better way than the videos I saw for holding this together most of the videos I saw once they loosen this up the brake pads just come dropping out that may be okay but if there's a spring as I've heard some people talk about or something else in there that needs to go back in you might want to see where it goes so I'm actually using a chisel which I use to actually pry the brake pads apart a little bit, although I'll probably still have to use a pair of pliers to uh, push the um, drum all the way back in. But I think that'll make it a little bit easier for you. And then once you're there and you pull this off, you can actually see exactly how the pads come out before you remove the chisel from in between the pads and let them drop out. So that's my advice, and I'm going to finish up here.